Yo, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to save multiple values. Like y'all might know how to save this value, like only the money, but I'm gonna be showing y'all how to save multiple values with one data store. So, uh, it's pretty easy. It's like the same, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna show y'all how y'all do it. So, let's begin. So, firstly, I have made the uh, the leader stat and I have got the data store service and then I made a special scope for it and I have two functions here player removing and player added so in the player added I made the leader stats over here so now I'm gonna make a variable called data and it should be new for now uh, so over here we are going to do a pcore function because and in the pcore function we're going to say data equals to data store get async and make a special code for this uh, mm, the data store so let's say layer layer data underscore and player dot user id so the player is being returned by this function as the joined player and we are getting the use id because uh, use id each player has different use id and even if they change the name the use id remains the same so that's why i do that and and out of the pcor function i'm going to say if sucks if success then um print i'm gonna print the uh success and i want to say if data then print data collected so we connect collected the data but if it's not success then we are going to warn the error in the pico function this will always return the error i didn't put error because it's already a known variable and error and over here if data is there then we are gonna give the data but it's gonna be like in a table format because I'm gonna do that uh, over there so data is gonna be a uh, data is a table so data one is gonna be the money so and data 2 is going to be our level you will understand it so I want to go to player removing so since data is a table now in player removing I'm going to say local data right so we need to get the leader stats here too uh, player dot leader stats uh, leader stats dot money level so once you get all of that you should have something called data and this data should be a table and I'm gonna put it right here so inside the data we are going to put all the values you want to save so money dot value and level level dot value right then we are going to make a p call again and we're gonna again say data store set async and we're gonna put the same player code over here to player data um, and it's going to be the play use id right so if success if success then so if success then data has saved right else won uh, won the error again so now since it's done we need to give what we're going to save and we're going to give the table 
as this is the table we're gonna give it but up here now we go back here and data is a table right this is the table we, we will be getting the money value and the lowest value so this is gonna be like this is gonna be one and this is gonna be two as you can see and if you're saving more values you put here right and here we are gonna save that too by telling uh, three so that's how it works right so here now that the table we got is like we got it uh, we are gonna set the value so money dot value equals to data one since since first is money dot value so and level dot level dot value equals to data two and if data is not there no data pra and probably the player's first time playing so first time playing then you can give it a value you want let's say we get 100 first time playing and level dot value equals to maybe level one and now it don't work until you publish it because you need the http request it's roblox is pretty broken at this point but that's how we do it peace out gang gang out